You ready for a new video? Welcome everybody to Kill or Love. This is a game I just found on Steam after browsing a bit. I'm not gonna lie, this game kind of caught my interest. Looked pretty interesting. From the looks of it, it's a horror game and a visual novel similar to the styles of things like Doki Doki, if you remember that. I fucking love Doki Doki. And if you haven't ever played or seen Doki Doki, go treat yourself. If you're a veteran to this channel, you might know that this is what I used to do a long while ago, you know? I did Let's Plays of, you know, long story-driven games, I did series, I did longer Let's Plays, you know, and not really edited as much, so it's just like the raw footage, you know, trying to keep it as raw as possible. Brazing. So obviously for this one, I'm gonna give Mr. Editor a little bit of a break, I'm not gonna torture him or do symbols and snares. Without any further ado, I don't know, I think we should just start this thing. This is a work of fiction. Names, characters... I did not even get to read that. Warning contains depictions of violence. Mm-hmm. So if you're very sensitive, probably don't watch this. Jack. There's a voice calling to me. Wake up, Jack. It's a woman's voice. Oh, shit. I just gave it a male voice. Now I'm gonna get cancelled on Twitter. Oh, boy. I want to keep on sleeping, but it doesn't seem like she'll give up soon. I open my eyes. Oh, it's a nurse. Good morning, did you sleep well? So chapter one, this is built up in chapters. This looks promising so far. It's an anime game, so you weeps watching will probably have a lot of um, enjoyment out of this, especially if there's any um, more explicit scenes. I don't know that yet, but we're just gonna have to see. Did you sleep well? I know her, not just because she's my nurse. I've known her for a long time now. Her name is Anna. What? Can't talk? Is your throat too dry? Hang on a sec. She comes back with some water and a paper cup. How sweet of her. She's getting close. Very close. She helps me sit up, then puts the cup to my mouth and lets me drink. Good. Feeling better now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Great. This is probably also going to be a lot of reading, so... I don't know. This is the kind of thing where I can't really please everybody. Some people are going to enjoy this, some people might not, but... We'll see how this goes. Are you comfortable here? Not when you get close like that. Can you sleep well? How's your leg? Can you please take a step back? Does it hurt? Are you bored? I'm... I'm alright. Calm the fuck down. Alright. Well, if you say so. Tell me if there's anything I can do to help, okay? Yeah, okay. Um, actually... Yes, Jack. What is it? What's the date today? Do you know? Yeah, this guy's fucked. Clearly, he's not. Completely fine. I wonder I wonder what happened since he's here. Oh, just that? It's August the 3rd. I see. Thank you. Anything else? I shrug. Well, okay then. I have to go now. Other patients, you know. But I'll be back in a bit. Don't worry. She seems sweet. Anna leans down and pecks me on the lips. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this has already taken a bit of a weird turn. All right. Bye-bye. Oh, shit. I accidentally right-clicked. I guess it does that. Start of journal, August 3rd. I am going to k kill someone. Okay, this guy is not mentally well. We can already tell. Probably. Her name is Anna. So I'm dating my nurse and I also want to kill her. Got it. I don't want to do it. I'm not a violent man. But what else can I do? Fucking love her? <laughs> it would be wrong to let her live, right? What is wrong with this guy? What did she do to you? But I can't kill her just yet. I'm too weak. Good. <laughs> I tested my grip strength today. I wrapped a hand around my wrist and squeezed. I couldn't make it hurt at all. Not even a little bit. Yeah, this guy's insane. But it doesn't matter much. Even if I was strong enough to go through with it, I'd still have to wait. I can't do anything until I know Grace is safe. Grace. It hurts to think about her. I want to tell her I'm sorry. I'm so sorry I got her involved. Okay, there's a lot of story we haven't caught up to that we're probably going to have to catch up on later. Please be safe, Grace. Grace, 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 Grace. Calms me down when I write your name. Grace, Grace, Grace. I'm so sorry. Did he fucking hurt her? Probably did. August 4th. The journal is still here. Thank God. I was afraid she would find it somehow. 
When I saw that she didn't, it was just a huge relief. I wanted to write it right in write it right in right away. Wow. Right in it right away. There we go. But no, I didn't. I have to be patient. Yeah, I'll write only when I'm sure Anna is not around. Not while she's walking around, tending to patience, uh, pretending she's not who she really is. Really confused right now? Got my fucking hair. Ah, and it's a good thing I waited. And it's... Oh, I already read that. She came into the room only a few minutes after I woke up. She smiled and asked me how my night had been. I held back from telling her how I really felt about being here and about her. I mean, it's not like I can hide everything. Not after what happened. But at least I can pretend I'm not planning to do what I'm going to do. What is wrong with this dude? And who knows, maybe she thinks I've gone back to how I was before? I haven't gone back, but I'd rather die than be like that again. But it would be nice if she believed that. She'd let her, her guard down. Well, it doesn't matter that much, really. Even if she finds out I'm planning to kill her, planning on killing her, so what? So what? I'll end her life just the same. Jesus, man, you are not okay. You are not fucking good. If it comes to that, I'll do it. If I need to kill Anna to save Grace, I'll do it in a heartbeat. You know what, actually? Grace doesn't even need to be saved. Yeah, Grace is fine. Somewhere far away, without a care in the world. And I'm worrying over nothing. Yeah. If only. This is very strange. Haven't gained any strength back yet. Am I being impatient? I might be. The doctor thinks that for sure, that I'm being impatient. I asked him for some exercises I could do, but he told me to shut up and rest. What are you in such a hurry for, he asked me. I couldn't tell him, so I didn't say anything. Be more honest then. How about that? Yeah, I'm planning on killing the nurse that, that, that I'm also dating. And uh, Yeah. <laughs> My next idea was to find a weapon. I haven't seen anything good, though. I'll still look out for something I could, I could use. But I haven't gotten my hope up. Ho hopes up. I mean, I could rip out the needle in my arm connected to the IV drip, but I don't think that'd be a good murder weapon. Wait, then. What then? Oh. Oh dear. I can't think of anything. My mind is foggy from the drugs and the pain, and god damn it, why is there always so much bullshit? Damn it. Why do I always have to deal with all this? Nothing I try is going to work. Jesus, man. August 5th again. I've calmed down. I can't afford to lose my nerve. Not now of all times. No emotions. That comes when I'm safe. When we're safe, both me and Grace. My biggest problem is not being able to walk. They've set the bones in my legs straight and everything. And it's healing and it's cast. But it'll be a long time before I'm able to walk. I think. Maybe I'll be able to walk with a crutch soon. It, it could help me get my strength back. I'll ask the doctor when I see him. Okay. So he's definitely broken legs. All right, then. It's early morning. Well, it makes sense, because she did ask the nurse how my leg was. So it makes a lot of sense, actually. It's early morning. I hear someone coming down the hall, slowly, not in a hurry. They sound like they're wearing hospital slippers. Most likely, it's the doctor and a nurse. I hope it's a nurse other than Anna. I pray that it's anyone else. What has Anna done to you, dude? The door opens. The doctor comes in. And a step behind him is a nurse that is not Anna. I sigh in relief. In a lot of pain, huh? No, no, it's not that, Doctor. But, well, it can wait. Unless it's urgent, it's not. Very well, then. The Doctor can't be over 35 years old. He's wearing a golden watch and fine-looking leather shoes. He doesn't look like a doctor to me at all, more like a businessman. I thought so, too, yeah. The Doctor goes from behind bed to bed. Behind? No, bed to bed with the nurse, checking on the patient, spending no more than a minute with each. He comes to my bed last. Okay, Mr. Friday. <laughs> Okay, weird name. What was it again? Let's see here. He leaves through some papers and clicks his tongue. Ah, you fell. Yeah. How the hell did you manage to do that? Oh. These substances we found in your blood work explain that mystery. Not very clever, are you? Definitely not. He's very insane. Getting high and... Doctor, you can't say that. Oh, sue me. And you don't do it again. Next time I won't patch you up, you hear? I'll try not to. He's being rude, but it doesn't really bother me. I've got more important things on my mind. Yeah, 
everyone else is being rude to me. Boo-hoo. But I'm planning on killing somebody who really cares for me. <laughs> Jesus. Doctor, how long until I can start walking? At least with two with, with crutches. I don't know. What? What? You're, you're, you're a doctor, aren't you? My doctor. The very same. Who do you think operated on you? I look down at my leg. I'm suddenly very unsure of what I'll see when that cast comes off. I'm going to go ahead and just turn the music down just a little bit. It's a little bit loud. So I'm, well, I hope you can understand that. Can you at least guess what I'll be able to walk? Not going to really help much. It's just a guess, you know. I'd rather not. The nurse standing next to the doctor looks uncomfortable. She's holding a hand to her forehead and sighing. But why not? Don't I deserve to know? Well, a lot of factors are at play here, you see. The doctor starts moving his right hand in complex patterns. Plenty of factors can change how quickly you heal. A whole lot. So who can really say? Factors like what? Oh, so many of them. Like what? Like, uh, he glances down at his papers. Like your blood pressure. Which is crap, by the way. Are you stressing over something? Yes. No. No, doctor, I'm not. I'm fine. He frowns a little. Well, you'll be fine. Kick your feet back and relax. What are you in such a hurry for anyway? You've got a job waiting for you. You haven't got a job waiting for you outside or anything. Oh, burn. Burn. Just call, just call this man jobless. Damn. Damn. Whew. Huh? How do you know that? Oh, well, nurse. Uh, He snaps his fingers trying to remember. Uh, Anna? Nurse Anna. That's the one. She told me. And yes, I know about you too. No need to act surprised. You're a lucky guy, you know that. So they are indeed dating. And he's planning on killing his own girlfriend. What a nice guy this Jack fella is. He's... Ugh, it reminds me of that streamer. I forget the name. But I think it was last year. There was this streamer that just killed his girlfriend on stream. Like, took her outside in the snow. And let her freeze to death and took her back inside. It, it was fucked up. What a world! Yeah. When I first found out, I was against letting her care for you. Being objective and all that stuff, you know? But she really wanted to. So I thought, whatever. And she's taking it well, so it's okay, I guess. The doctor stares off into space, then looks at me and grins. Oh, I see. It's her. What? She's the reason you want to get the hell out of here, huh? I don't blame you. There's no privacy here at all. Oh, ha 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 ha. Uh, I mean, I, she is the reason he wants to get out of there, but not for the reason that you think. Not for the reason that you think. No, I, I, I didn't. Don't be ashamed now. I get what it's like. He's humble. The doctor's very humble. He drops the smile. But you can't be thinking of those sorts of things. You've got to rest properly. All right. All right. All right. He leaves with a thumbs up. Seems like a nice guy. Everyone is so nice to Jack, and he's just, oh, I want to kill them all. What the fuck, man? Two of the other patients are laughing and whistling, and another one is grumbling with that, with what must be jealousy. If you, if you haven't seen Doki Doki, by the way, close your ears real quick. Um, in Doki Doki, obviously, uh, well, you should definitely go play it or watch it. But anyway, um, it obviously starts off as a very cute game and then turns very dark and scary. This is already kind of dark, but it's also, like, wholesome with the, um, the nurse and the doctor and everything being so kind, like... It's still very peaceful, apart from we see what's going on in his mind. But I feel like it's going to get way more fucked up as we go on, just like with Doki Doki. Except it doesn't start off as super cute. It's like, it's wholesome, except for when we're inside of this guy's mind. Idiots. My journal is pressed up against me in a new hiding spot. I've moved it three times now. I've got to write in it. My thoughts are burning a hole in my skull. I've got to share them with someone, even if that someone is a piece of paper. But not now. She's still out there somewhere. Who? Grace? Like, I'm still not really sure about this Grace uh, girl he's talking about. Damn it. God damn it all. I'm stuck here with nothing to do but lie uselessly and wait. 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 And all I can do is fucking wait. Nothing to do but wait. 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 But for how long? It's two hours after I've written down those words. I'm looking at the little notebook that is my journal. I've got it in my hands. Yeah, if they find that, you're fucked. <laughs> I'm amazingly lucky to have it. Someone had left both a notebook and a pen in the nightstand next to my bed. I checked the nightstand's drawers on a whim, and there they were. Now they're only they're the only things keeping me sane. There's no TV or books or even magazines here. 
I'm counting the pages I've got left in the notebook, checking how much ink there is in my pen. Then she comes in, and I feel my heart stop. Good evening, boys. Boys? Ah, yeah, there's other patients, of course. She greets everyone, but she's only looking at me. Yeah, cause she loves you, dude. I murmur back a hello. This music is, um... Well, you see, it's not exactly pleasant to listen to. Meanwhile, my hands are still holding the notebook. Clutching it, actually. I can feel beads of s be beads of sweat <laughs> forming on my forehead. The notebook is small, very small. My hands must be hiding in must be hiding it from view, or are they? If she's noticed, Anna plays it no mind. She wheels in the cart with our medication. While she's busy with the other patients, I slip the notebook and open and pen and, and pen under my blanket, smooth it over, and lie quietly. It's interesting how the characters are so well animated or like drawn. And then the background is like, it's sort of like painted or like this effect that makes it that way. How are you holding up, sweetie? See, she's so nice. And this man's trying to kill her, man. Why? What is wrong with you? Guys, don't kill your girlfriend or your boyfriend or your significant other or your family or your friends or anybody or anything. Don't. Should be common knowledge, but apparently it isn't to some people. I nearly jump at Anna's whispered words. I didn't notice her approach. Fine, I'm fine, thanks. Hmm. Jack, don't you remember what I told you? It's no good putting on a brave face. I'm here for you, okay? <laughs> She's so sweet! <sighs> uh, <laughs> She's so sweet. Man, this guy is actually an anti-sim. <laughs> it's like... He has this really nice and caring girlfriend, and he's like, I'm gonna kill her. I'm gonna make sure she lives no more. <laughs> What's this about? Does she know? I know about everything you see. She leans, leans in closer. I nearly faint. Everything. Y yeah? Yes. I had a little chat with your doctor, you know? And he told me... Oh, shit! <laughs> All about how much trouble you're having down there. <laughs> oh, and that face. Oh, Jesus. As soon as I realize what she means, my tense body. Fuck, I keep right clicking. Instinct. My tense body loosens up. Ah, yeah, that. It's uh, a bit of a problem, I guess. Oh, sweetie. Well, I'm sorry. Your health has priority over sex. <laughs> but don't you worry. I'm not going anywhere. She puts her hand on my blanket, starts smoothing it out. <laughs> Absent, Absent-mindedly. It makes me happy, though, to see you like this again. After how you acted before your accident, I thought... N never mind. He's still insane. Without warning, she leans in even closer. I feel her hot breath on my cheek. Why do you want to kill her, dude? But since you're so eager, Jack, I promise that after you're released, I'll give you the time of your life. Ho, ho, ho! Oh! Jack be getting it! Oh, ho. oh, I'd call him a Chad if he wasn't planning on killing this sweet, kind girlfriend of his. I'll make you finally forget all about Grace. Grace, is this his ex? Grace must be his ex. And my, my okay, so my theory is, it's his ex that died because he's like, oh, she's in a better place. Uh, she deserves to be saved, or whatever the fuck he said, and he said he misses her, and all that, and maybe that's why he's planning on killing the nurse, uh, Anna, because he doesn't like Anna, or maybe, you know, he misses Grace, and then he's like, Anna might be my girlfriend, so I'm like, killing her because he's fucked in the head. Her words are like a slap in the face. I can only stare back. Hmm, so you still care about her? I don't like that. Someone like you and someone like her, you never should have been together in the first place. Now I'm starting to think she shouldn't really be, um... She really be minding her own business in that part, like, 
They're not together anymore. Fucking don't mention it. Please think only of me. Okay, attention seeking a bit. Okay. After all, we were made for each other. If I do, if I promise I'll be with you always, will you leave Grace out of this? I actually agree with him here. She should probably just leave Grace out of this one. She seems nice and caring, but right here, don't do that. No, that's no good. I can't do that. Just you're asking that, it shows you're still thinking about her. She hasn't got anything to do with this. With what you did to me and what... And what I'll do to you. So leave her out of it. Are you holding her somewhere? Ah, at least that girl's good for one thing. Thanks to her, you've been a good boy, even though you're still so confused. Anna, please. I'm close to crying. I want to tear my hair out. My hair out. Anna smiles again. Fine, sweetie. I promise I won't hurt her. So she's not dead? She's... She's just, like, missing, or... Okay, now they seem to both be fucked in the head. I thought she was really nice and sweet and caring, but, um... Doesn't seem like she's, um... The most stable, either. As long as you do one thing for me. Do you know what that is? I do. Of course I do. Something she's been telling me to do for ages, since before I got here. She's like a broken record. You want me to remember everything? Yep. Oh, I can't wait. When you do that, everything will be perfect. We'll be together again. Forever. So promise you'll remember. I promise I'll try. No. That's not good enough. Oh, for fuck's sake. This again. Okay. You promised you'd try before, and look where that got us. Tell me you'll do it. I, I promise. I'll recall it all. Good. We'll work on what I, We'll work on that when you get out of there, but... If your memory comes back to you before then, tell me before you tell anyone else. Okay? Bye-bye for now. Jesus. She wheels off the cart, glancing back at me one last time with that eerie look of hers. I'm not gonna lie, that was kind of eerie. I can't, I can't tell her I already remember. I've known since before my injury. I've known that when we were both children, she... Oh. Children, she... No, I can't tell her. If I do that, she wins and Grace dies. Maybe I'll die too. I can't wait by playing along with Anna's delusions. So maybe he's actually planning on killing her because she's insane. Chapter 2, what Jack lost. Ooh. Now we're getting to that part. Okay, that's interesting. August 7th. I can't just sit here waiting. I've got to wait, and I will. But I feel like I can't wait either. I'm doing nothing, and it's eating me up. Oh, shit, sorry. If a stomach is empty long enough, it starts eating itself. Do you know that? I know that. I know that. Oh, she said it already. If I don't do something right now, I'm afraid I might go crazy. You already seem kind of crazy. Oh, YouTube notification from Mini Minter. I'll watch that afterwards. <laughs> I'm going to write down everything that happened. Maybe that'll help me make sense of things. Right now, my thoughts are buzzing together in my mind like flies around a turd. I want my mind to be clear. To do what I'm going to do, and to do it properly, my mind needs to be clear. Unclouded. This notebook is small, but I think I've got enough space to write everything down. It's not a long story. So here it goes. Everything. Ooh, we're getting backstory. I met Anna. Now we're finally getting some backstory. Oh, I've been waiting for this. Finally, a bit more, you know, concrete, um, sort of, you know, parts to the storyline. I really needed this. I met Anna, met her again, again, after so many years in the store where we worked. Grace wasn't there at the time. It wasn't a coincidence that Anna visited the store when she did. It couldn't have been. She must have been following me. Oh, dear. Ah, oh, she looks nice there. But behind closed doors? Probably not. The first time she came in, I was at the cash register. And she got closer. She walked straight up to me, cutting in a line. An old woman was busy counting her change and didn't complain. Nobody else complained either. Anna stood there a while, staring at me. 
Then she said, No. No, I can't do this. I can't stand start here. I can't do it. It's already too much of that woman in my life. What? She's talking about Grace? I've got to start with someone else. Someone I miss. Grace. Grace, yeah. Is that... Oh, Grace was a girl who worked at the same store I worked at. She was, and still... And is, still is, a kind, sweet girl. She's a little quiet, but that's perfectly fine. I hated her. I hated most people. <laughs> what? And most things. I was a real asshole. You still kind of seem like one. Not gonna lie. But so does your girlfriend a little bit. I don't know. Seems confusing. I didn't spend time with other people. Whenever a co-worker invited me somewhere, I turned them down. I didn't chat with anyone during breaks either. It was just how I was. How I'd always been. I avoided Grace too, of course. She tried to talk to me a few more times. Uh, but then I started avoiding her even more. I only took shifts I thought she wouldn't take. The times we still ended up working together, I stayed as far away from her as I could. It worked for a while. Then came the dark, the day we talked, really talked for the first time. Hmm. I was restocking the shelves alongside an old, greasy, long-haired man when Grace came along. I didn't even look at her. Instead, I became very interested in stacking cans of food onto the lower shelves. I waited for her to leave. Fuck, I keep doing this. Um, Don? Don? Wasn't his name Jack? What? You can switch with me, alright? You can go help Susie. I already did the bottom shelves there. Oh, Don. Okay, makes sense. Don, the old man, thanked her and left. And Grace started working next to me. A minute went by. I found that I couldn't work in peace. Just her being there made me upset. I had to say something. I'm fine on my own. Hmm? If you want to take a break or something, you can. I'm fine on my own. Oh, no, I don't mind doing this. I see. Can't she take a hint? I thought then. No. <laughs> it's, um, it's his back, you know? What? Don's back hurts a lot, so I asked him to switch. Oh, I see. He has trouble with the lower shelves, so I get it. I didn't do it to bother you, I, I swear. I said I get it! <laughs> Very passive-aggressive there. Okay. We went on restocking in silence. For about another minute. Um, I know you don't like me very much, so I thought you might think I was bothering you on purpose. So I'm sorry. Oh, she seems sweet. But Anna seemed sweet too. And now I'm getting mixed signals with her. I don't know, this story arc's quite confusing, but at least we get a little more backstory with Grace now. Who says I don't like you? Huh? Don't you? You're always avoiding me. Yeah, don't take that personally. That's just how I am. I don't care about other people. I only care about myself. Me, me, me. Narcissist. Sociopath. Fucking dumbass. If I go back in time and punch myself in the mouth, I would. So you like me? What? No, I didn't say that. Get a clue. Ha, huh, just kidding. We didn't talk for the rest of the day, so I thought that was that. She'd leave me alone, I thought. Now that she knows, I prefer it that way. But she didn't. I've always thanked my lucky stars that she didn't leave me alone after that. Oh, you actually started to fucking like her? Should have given her a chance, maybe. Maybe she should have, though. Oh, for her own sake. I hope she can forgive me. Did you do something to her? Writing about the past has been a good idea. Right now, it doesn't even bother me where I am, who I'm with. And thinking of Grace, remembering the way she smiled... Is giving me courage. She got hurt because of me, so I will do anything to make her happy and safe. So we did. He did hurt her. In some way. The weather was nice out today. The sky was blue. Wow, sky's blue? Whoa. <laughs> Didn't know that. There's a tiny window on the wall on my left. Uh, I can look through it if, uh, if I twist my head around. That small patch of the sky is the only beautiful thing around here. That and my memories of her. God damn it, I keep doing that. <laughs> Ah, there's more flashbacks. Cool. Hi, Jack. Hi. Beautiful morning, isn't it? Let's give it our all today. Yep, let's do that. Um, your uniform is kind of all wrinkly, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it is. I haven't gotten an iron, so... Jeez, you're really hopeless, aren't you? He is, not gonna lie. I wouldn't go that far. I could iron your clothes for you if you said pretty please. She seems so nice. What the fuck? How could you hurt her? That's one thing I don't get is people will always hurt the ones closest to them. I don't get it. I don't get it. Man, this game's making me 
think all sorts of emotions. This is insane. August 8th. After that one time, Grace started coming up to me more and more often and talking to me more and more. It was a gradual thing, just hello and goodbye and how are you doing at first? Eventually, they grew to full conversations. Well, I say full conversations, it was still pretty bare bones. I noticed how friendly she was being, of course. God damn it. <laughs> Keep doing that. Oh my god. I should just remove that right click button completely. But I didn't push her away. I couldn't tell why I didn't do that. I surprised myself every day by not telling her to screw off. Hey Jack, there's this bar just down the road. I hear it's a good place to go. So how about we go there after work today to relax? And when she asked me out for drinks, I surprised myself further by saying sure. Sometimes you gotta push yourself, get out of that comfort zone. Seems I've taken real pictures and just like made this effect, which is pretty interesting. How do you like it here? Is it nice? It's all right, I guess. I don't really know, honestly. I don't go to places like this. Oh well, I don't either. Not a lot. But I thought it would be fun, you know? Grace ordered a Jack and a Coke. My girl! My girl! Let's go! <laughs> I didn't know what to get, so I asked for one too. Our drinks came quickly. They were cool and pleasantly sweet, but I couldn't enjoy mine. I was in a bad mood. The waitress had giggled while taking my order, and I took it as an insult, or it was just something else just as dumb. I can't remember exactly. Ah... Feels good to relax after a long day at work, doesn't it? I grumbled. What is it, Jack? Nothing. I set my drink. Um, something's bothering you, isn't it? I said it's nothing! Jesus, he gets all... He gets all passive-aggressive. It feels like... I'm just not cut out for this stuff. Oh, I'm sorry. You don't have to drink if you don't want to. See, she's so nice. Or at least she seems to be at this point. In time. I don't mean that. I mean all this. I gestured at everything around us. Doing things with people. I just only love myself. I hate other people. Man, this guy is the ultimate introvert. Huh? Why? You wouldn't get it even if I explained. We're just too different. I've had it rough in life. Really? I'm sorry to hear that. But that doesn't mean you can't enjoy yourself now. I, well... It would be a shame not to do fun things just because of that. No, what I'm saying is, it's just not fun for me. I don't like this. How can you say that? We've barely been here for 10 minutes. I just know. She didn't seem happy I said that. Of course not, dude. You've agreed to something just to throw it all away in minutes. So you want to leave? Uh, I hadn't actually thought of leaving. I just complained to complain. See, this guy's a fucking asshole. He really is. Well, you can't leave. Not yet. Oh, yeah? Yes. If you keep going like this, you're never going to have any fun in life. You tell him, Grace. You tell him. So promise me you'll at least give being with me a chance. You want me to stay here longer? Yes. At least another hour. A whole hour? Please. Fine. I can do an hour. Thank you. You won't regret it. Yeah, sure. I mean, it does start to take a toll on you if you never see people. Like, if you're just alone all the time, and you never see anybody. It seemed like such a long time, there was a clock on the wall opposite me. I was going to start it for the whole hour, counting down the minutes. Then when the hour passed, I would get up and leave. Simple as that. But then something happened. Grace was having trouble. I had never seen her so awkward. She was stammering, struggling to find stuff to talk about. I realized it was because I was just sitting there, barely saying anything. I was acting all grumpy too. That couldn't have helped. Back in the store with so many distractions ever, uh, around us, it had been easier for her to chat with me every so often. A few words here and there. I hadn't had much to do back then besides nod. Sitting down, talking face to face, it simply couldn't work like that. After more than a few failed attempts to get the ball rolling, Grace... Gave up. She sat there, looking, looking at her drink instead of me. She was most likely working up the courage to end this early. In just a few minutes, I'd be free to leave. I found I couldn't stand that, so I started talking. I said the first thing that came to mind, no matter how stupid, I don't know why I did it. It feels so unlike me, both feeling bad for someone and talking with no filter. 
or unlike the past me. Maybe I was finally warming up to Grace, or maybe it was the alcohol. I don't know, maybe it was both. You had one drink that you probably didn't even finish, man. Fuck you, it wasn't the alcohol. The reason doesn't matter. What matters is that it happened. Back then, there was a part of me that never relaxed, no matter what. No, it wasn't even a part of me. Pretty much all of me was like that. Like, a fist that wouldn't unclench. But now I found I could relax it, little by little by little. And before I knew it, I really was having fun in this girl's presence, talking to her, laughing with her. See? Dude. Fuck yeah, you gave it a chance and you liked it. Simply spending time with her. What did we talk about? I don't remember. What I do remember is that I had more fun than I'd had in years. When the hour passed, I didn't say anything. We stayed there for hours longer. I do remember one thing we talked about, actually. We somehow got on the topic of family. What's your family like, Jack? Uh, I, I can't say. Oh, I see. You don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. See? She's so nice. Man. I'm sorry I asked. I'm kind of not on speaking terms with my family, either. Why is that? That's, um... Actually, I don't really talk with other people all that much, or hang out with them. Well, outside of work. I'm kind of alone a lot of the time. And so is he. What, really? Yeah. <laughs> this surprised me. I was surprised a lot back then. I never thought Grace was anything like me. But you're so friendly with people at the store. That's all it is. It's not that I would like to spend more time with them, but... I don't know. It feels like if I let them in, they're going to turn out... Not nice. But you're different. You're just trying to get by. I don't think you'd use someone. God, when I say it like that, it doesn't sound right at all. I mean, you can never really know. You must think I'm really weird. I'm sorry. No, I don't think you are. It makes sense what you said. Really? Thank you, Jack. I really hope you understand, and I'm so happy that you do. I really feel like you're someone I can trust. We went for drinks again next week, and then once more for the week after. We went- Oh, uh, sorry, I just uh, already read that. The week after that, we had dinner together uh, at a greasy little restaurant we could, where we could afford to eat. I tried to impress her by ordering wine. I had never had wine. It was disgusting, but I had guessed it would be disgusting, so I forced my way through a glass anyway. <laughs> Let's go, man. <laughs> Forcing yourself for a girl. Man, he really, he went from biggest simp to anti-simp, damn. I even said it was delicious. Then Grace tried some, told me it was spoiled. She teased the hell out of me for that. I wasn't bitter about it, I laughed along. Strange how quickly people can change, sometimes. Soon we started going out more often, to bars. That, that actually might be foreshadowing, not gonna lie. To bars, cheap restaurants, places like that. We took a lot of walks together too, and one time we even went to the movies. After about a month of this, I asked Grace if she'd be my girlfriend. What, am I not your girlfriend already? Oh, and that's how it went. August 9th. A few weeks later, she told me what had happened to her back when she still lived with her family. I had known for a while that something bad happened, something that she hadn't shared with anyone before. But when she told me what it was, a few of the things she said, no, I shouldn't write it down here. It feels wrong. It's not mine to tell. What if someone found this journal? Jesus, I'd never imagined she was living with such a burden. When I found found out, I felt crushed. That's... I know. God, I feel like an idiot. And after I told you I'd had it rough... No, it, it's fine. Don't feel bad about it, please. You've got your troubles and I've got mine. I know, but... Can't we do something? There's nothing to do. It's all over now. All I can do is keep looking forward, you know? <sighs> I hugged her and told her how brave she was for telling me. I told her I'd protect her, keep her safe forever, and I meant it. And I failed her. But that comes later. I feel like everyone in this story starts out real nice and becomes an asshole later. I mean, Grace seems really nice. She hasn't seemed to change. She had a bad past. Um, and she seems like, you know, obviously broken because of it, but she seems like a nice girl just trying to get by. For now, I figured I would... I should tell her what my own troubles had been. Um, you don't have to tell me if you don't want to. It's okay. I do want to. I've managed to keep quiet about my past. I had only alluded to things. Now I told her everything. It wasn't a long story. 
What? Nothing? You don't remember anything? Okay, it's not exactly nothing. But my teen years are fuzzy, and everything before that, it's like it doesn't exist. What about your family? I don't know, maybe I had one? I was in a lot of institutions before I turned 18. Oh, Jack. I'll tell you about those times if I want, but there's not a lot to tell. Nothing really ever happened to me. I wish I could tell you everything about my life. I really do, but I can't. That's fine. Did you ever try to find out? About my life before then? Yeah. I didn't. Why not? Uh, I don't know. I just never felt like it, I guess. I must have known, even back then, that some memories are best left buried. I'm sure I would like to remember, if I couldn't. But you're fine with it? Yeah. Well, okay. Tell me about the times you can remember, then. So I went on to talk about all the few bland memories I had. Chapter 3. No more stalling. Oh. My. God. I think now that we're at chapter 3, I'm going to save here. Um, oh yeah, I had another slot. That was because Vigi played on mine. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to save that. Um, and then call it an episode. That was very interesting. A bit of a confusing story, but we do get more background. And I feel like in the end, the story will definitely probably add up. Um, yeah. That was... That's insane. Really interesting and enticing story so far. I'm, I, I don't like to read, usually. But when it's like this, I'm fine with it. That's why I was fine with Doki Doki, and this is... Holding up promising so far. It's an enticing story, and it's... I don't know. It's really interesting. You know, it's intriguing. It has mystery. And obviously, I know it's a lot of reading. Um, some people aren't really into this, and you know, obviously, you could... You, there's more of a thing you put on maybe in the background while you do something else. It's not going to be for everyone, but you know, I know my audience well enough to know that a lot of you guys like different things on the channel. And that's why, you know, I try to do a lot of different things, you know? I try to please as many people as I can. And I hope you guys enjoy this. If the reception is good enough, I'll definitely continue. I think I'll continue no matter what, because this is really interesting. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this too. So, so far, we have Jack, who is the main character, who... Um, is dating his nurse, Anna, and is planning to kill her. She seems really nice in the beginning, like a really nice supportive girlfriend. Um, but then seem, as we get to know her a bit better, she seems a bit more obsessive. Um, kind of needy and, you know, very like, um, I guess kind of manipulative in a way, she seems. Uh, cause like, obviously Mrs. Grace, and I understand that's not his girlfriend anymore, but obviously... It seems something happened with Grace that he can't let go of because it hurt him. He states he's hurt her, which we don't know about yet, but that's probably going to be told in the next episode or maybe later. It's, I, I don't know. It depends on how long this is and how long that story keeps going because I feel like it might be a bit of a lengthy one. Um, but yeah, uh, Jack broke his leg or his legs. I actually don't know. I think it was just one. I don't know. Not really important, but either way, he's in the hospital. He seems a bit insane. Everyone seems a bit insane so far, apart from Grace, who did have a bad past, but just seems like a nice lady trying to get by. But obviously, we don't know for sure yet. She might be absolutely cuckoo in the head as well, but since Jack cares about her so much, might not be the case. Um, yeah. Especially since he wants to kill Anna, who... Does have a bit of that mystery to her and everything. I don't know. She's. This is very interesting. Uh, it feels kind of weird to do this kind of thing again. But um, hey, I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, if you did, don't forget like, smash the like down below, and subscribe, all that stuff. But do all that. Either way, as always, there's another video over here, the, which probably the previous video and a uh, video over here, a random one recommended to you by the YouTube algorithm. You can click somewhere around my beautiful chest, which I'll probably get demonetized for, but ah, it doesn't matter. Click here um, to subscribe and all that good stuff. Check out, you know, Twitter, Instagram, everything. All that good stuff. It's all linked down in the description. So, yeah. 
that's really it. As always, like, subscribe, all that stuff. And I'll catch y'all in the next one.